It's done. I'd say it's far from done. We don't have the knife. Neither does Michael, but we have a lead. Gadriel pried a list of names that could have taken the knife. It's mostly other black market competitors. Michael also knows about the knife. So how does that help us? He doesn't have the names. We have the advantage. <laughs> oh, you think this is good news? Nobody said this plan of yours would be easy. Perhaps. But I would have preferred if my brother stayed in the dark. <sighs> what did you do with the shop owner? Gadriel burned down the building with him inside. <laughs> Good. Is it? Hmm? I'm just saying we should consider the ramifications of killing human beings. It is one thing to fight each other but the death of a mortal draws too much attention. And I think you need to consider the consequences of us doing nothing at all. It is reckless. That is not for you to decide. If you think you can do better, if you want to call the shots, then there's the door. We'll see how far you get on your own. I understand. <laughs> How should I deal with Michael? Kadriel and I will handle him. What? Is that a problem? No. What shall I do? A pro-life activist has gotten on the media's radar. Tara Ferguson. I'm sorry, you want me to focus on one woman? One voice, Tamil. Currently, she is a symbol for open dialogue. <laughs> However, with the right force, she could embrace violence and rage. Her group could cause chaos. Well, you seem pretty sure. I am. What about Tom Cullen? Ugh, no, he's too protected. The focus needs to be on Ferguson. She has followers, and followers are like sheep. If we can get her to make one drastic decision, that'll be all we need to tip the scales in our favor. I just, I don't know if I can trust you. You can. Leave me alone. What do you want? To talk. Talk, huh? That's right. Wow. You took off pretty quick. If you've received the kind of threats I have over the past few months, you would be paranoid too. What do you want to talk about? Your story. How you got involved in the movement and what happened to cause the riot. I'm not letting you write a hit piece on me or the cause. Come on, just a few words. That whole thing has been grossly exaggerated. Then let me set the record straight. Please, let me help you. Yeah, no, that's fine, that's fine. I can meet with the youth director next week. That actually frees me up to meet with the local gang. No, I... I'm not reconsidering, no, no, no. These are the very people that we need to reach. It'll be okay. Just 
Pray for me. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, now, all I got to do is figure out how to convince a violent drug dealer to stop selling the kids and not get myself shot. <laughs> Any ideas? You need some company? <laughs> Michael, how you doing? <laughs> hey, you have a second? Of course I do. Come on in, man. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I wasn't expecting to see you so soon, but... <laughs> well, I told you that I'd be where needed, and something tells me that I'm needed here. I would tend to agree. You know what? Let me... Let me get us some coffee. Out. Wait a minute. Do angels drink? Do y'all? Yeah. When we're thirsty. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, ask your questions. Okay, thank you. So let's start with Grimsby Homeless Shelter. You spend most of your days there. I volunteer from time to time. And how long have you been doing that? A couple years, do what I can. Sometimes I feel like I belong there. I get that. But I suppose that's not what you're here for. My activist work, that's what you want to hear about, right? If you would. Our goal is the preservation of unborn children's lives. The situation is complicated. I believe there's a solution, but you have to be able to have a civil conversation with the other side first. To be heard. Exactly. Everyone just wants to feel listened to. Have others acknowledge it. Even if they don't agree with your views, you're allowed to have them. Oh, man. Brother, you're looking rough. Well, somebody didn't tell me that leading a revival meant working 24-7. Thank you very much. Brother, the sermon went viral. Somehow, I don't know. Now I'm getting phone calls, requests for interviews, and just, it's... People reaching out to me from left and right. Churches, pastors. Some people hate me. Some people love me. Some people in between. <laughs> Not to mention a few lovely, nice little death threats that come along with all of that. I'm sorry about that. But I never said it'd be easy. No, you didn't. Hmm. You didn't. But it's all right. I'm, I'm grateful. You know, I'm just glad to have a chance to reach back out to this city. And soon, a lot more than that. Yeah, enough about me and my crazy world. What's up with you? Well, I, um, I found out there were uh, two sketches. So that's good. Just, uh, tracking them down. Sounds like progress. Or something. What about the property damage by members of your group? Would you call that peaceful? That wasn't us. Destroying a building doesn't solve the problems going on inside it. I believe in peaceful demonstrations. Some would say that your group doesn't yield any results. At least the extremists get the public's attention. Not good attention. If anything, they undercut everything we've been trying to do or say. Makes it impossible to have any kind of dialogue. Sounds like you're tired of being ignored. Wouldn't you like things to turn back into your favor? Sometimes I do wonder what that would look like. Your beliefs are really important to you. Well, with all the time it takes up, yeah. The people I'm surrounded by have always had my back. And I've had theirs. There's something else, Mike? 
I went to see that antique dealer, the one I told you about. Mm -hmm. And all he cared about was money. He didn't care about who got hurt. He didn't care about who would be killed, who had the knife. He just cared about the money. The love of money trap. That's even tough for some believers not to fall into, man. There's something you're not telling me. Yeah. What happened, brother? I abandoned him. I let him get hurt. I knew Katria was coming. And I left him. I left him to die. It's not your fault. You and I both know people make their own choices. He loved money long before you showed up. It's the worst part about being a watcher. You can't help everybody. Oh, well, you helped me. <laughs> How's that working out for you? Exhausting. Mm hmm <laughs> But it's worth it. Every minute. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. It's got to be rough. Your contemporaries coming down on you. Brother? It's definitely made things a little bit more stressful. But you and I both know. Start talking about the word of God, it's gonna ruffle some feathers. Exactly. He's why I started doing this. I look at him and I can't believe I almost denied him life. He's another person depending on me. They all need me. How badly do you want your group's voice to be heard? I know someone who could get you all the resources you could ever need to get your message out. You could win this fight. Seriously? I've heard that line before. All you have to do is ruin one person's reputation. What did you say? You heard me. Destroy one person's reputation and you'll get all the press that you want. Expose Governor Blake. Then, people will take your group seriously. And that's real power to change things. Even though Governor Blake has vehemently spoken out against us. Seriously? I am offering you an opportunity to remove one of your greatest enemies. I know. But that's not how I want it to happen. I won't become part of the problem by hurting another person. God will provide a way. Thank you for Wait. your time. Wait, that's it? I have everything I need. Sorry I didn't give you the sound bite you needed. You stand by your convictions, Tara. I admire that. Whoa. Any updates on Michael? Why are you so pressed about Michael? I just want to know. I don't want to do this Michael thing right now. All right? It, it, we don't have his exact location, but Sam's working a new angle. See, I would have found him already. Why don't you go tell Sam your solution then? Because I for sure am not telling him. He's not even telling you anything, is he?
Do you have some wonderful news for me? Gadriel implied that you're having trouble locating Michael. Sam, Do I know- Do you have a problem with the way Gadriel is conducting his search? No, but I do. Do you trust me? How about this Ferguson girl? I planted the seed, but I wouldn't hold my breath. And why is that? Her faith, it's too solid. Did you push? I say push. You push. Gadriel and I are really just pawns to you, aren't we? Close the door on your way out.